Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I hope you guys are enjoying your day because I certainly am not going to enjoy mine. Things are going downhill. What do you want, Nosy? Huh? What do you want? You just want to get pet? You just want to get pet, do you? Oh, good boy or girl, whatever you are. Unfortunately, I have to get rid of my stuff. I got my Ford racing mower up to here. This mower went up to 60 miles an hour. I got good stuff like a trailer back there. I got a nice snow blower right here. I got my tires along with my wheel that fell off the Duramax back here. Just a whole bunch of good stuff. But it does look like total crap and uh, that's why I need to fix it. I have a few larger items, so I have to go get my four-wheeler. I figure I'm gonna have to hook up the trailer to the truck anyways, so I'll just use the trailer. People ask me a lot, why don't I just throw my four-wheeler in the back of my truck, and it's the trailer is just easy. It only needs one strap instead of three. Two straps pulling it forward, one pulling it back because I can't shut my tailgate. With the trailer, just buckle it up to the front, hey, okay. So obviously there's quite a bit of stuff. This isn't exactly the video I wanted to come back with. It's kind of unfortunate. I mean, it doesn't look like a lot, but I just hate seeing things go to waste. I hate it. And I know eventually I'd get to it. It's just not now. I mean, I got old mowers, I got pressure washers, I got snow blowers, I got my old bicycle that I used to drive all the time. I got a snow blower. Now, now here's an example of what I'm talking about. This muffler alone on this snow blower goes for like 20 bucks. This chute right here is probably a good 60. But I don't have the room for it. The town doesn't want me to have all this stuff. You gotta get rid of this bed. I gotta do a lot of lawnscaping as well. A lot of you are probably going to deal with your first day of school soon. I am dealing with my first day of, well, the first day of the week. Well, my first day of moving this stuff out. I have one week to clean up. Otherwise, I'm gonna get fined. It's currently three o'clock. I missed the scrapyard by one hour. Um, today's Sunday, so the scrapyard isn't open for very long. I did make a good start. I wanna hopefully get it done either tomorrow or the next day. Oh, this will be going to the scrapyard. I'll take that stuff to an auction. All oh, this stuff goes to the scrapyard. I don't care what the town says, I'm gonna keep this stuff. Scrapyard scrapyard do you guys remember when i built this plow i built it with ian it was like one of our first projects ian and i ever did this is probably like the third time i ever was up to ian's house it's, it's been a long time and i used that cheap 99 cents primer and that 99 cent paint and i mean it's been five years six years and it's still holding up and then here's another plow this is an original atc plow from 1984 1983 somewhere around there these wheels no way they're gone the four-wheeler Hell no, that's not going. I can I can take care of that. Yes, it looks like more now than it did in the beginning. But as soon as the scrapyard is open, I can I can throw the rest of the stuff in the back of my truck. Right now, I don't want to put it in the back of my truck because God knows what's going to happen in the next 12 hours. Chaos is always brewing with me. What do you guys think of this whole situation? It sucks, doesn't it? That apple looks really good. I was right. A few days ago I mentioned I'm going to paint my truck. That is true. I'm committing to paint half of it. If I don't like the results, then I'll take it to a shop. But chances are, I can do it. I know I can do it. All of this will be gone. I'm excited about that. Along with this. My memories. Wah.
The town might be able to get rid of my junk, but they will not get rid of my pride. 3D Machines Apparel. Get your 3D Machines Apparel in the link in the description. Nothing much has changed with the GS, but I have ordered another part. Surprisingly enough, we found another problem with it. Underneath the points and condensers plate right here, there's an advanced timing mechanism. I don't know, Tim says it's not working, so we're just gonna go with that. Right, Tim? Yeah. <laughs> How's it looking, Kevin? Just fine. Look at that. Wow. Thank you, sir. I'm impressed. You're very welcome. What do you think's in the box? And I don't know if you could read it because I wasn't paying attention to that. I was just paying attention to getting the shot. If you already know what it is, what do you think I'm gonna use it for? I mean, if you're gonna throw out a bunch of stuff, you gotta go shopping. You gotta get your shop on. That's all there is to it. Eat that, town. The town is not gonna tell me what to do. Well, maybe a little bit, but we're gonna try to figure out some sort of revenge. If you guys have any ideas, this, I would really appreciate it if you leave it in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. We got our shop on, we got our scrap on. Until tomorrow, stay froggy fresh, stay super fly. 3D Machines out.